I know I wasn't going to vlog today, but when did I ever do what I was going to do? Do, 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 That's how I roll. And I like to talk out loud because I've had a few realisations this morning, actually. The first one, as I was putting my washing away from two weeks ago, over that, um, and making space for to make piles of my new washing that I'm doing, I was sorting all, I ended up sorting all my drawers out and my shelves out. And I found some of these Bridget Jones's knickers. I've got quite a few actually, and I bought quite a few. Um, yeah, a few months back. And I haven't actually worn them. And I'm like, why have you not worn them? Because they're not comfortable. So you just don't wear the clothes that you need them for. And that's the thing. Why? Why should we have to make ourselves uncomfortable? You know, it's not Victorian age, although it does feel like the Victorian era at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's very, very Victorian, I think, right now. Which is probably our most worst time in history. Although very good for industry. But it's the industry that's fucking us up. Well, the, the fuel companies. But that, anyway, I diversify, as I always do. So, back to me knickers. I thought, why am I doing this? Why am I wearing, suck it in, uncomfortable knickers to wear these clothes so that my belly doesn't stick out? Because... Actually, we're women and we shouldn't have flat bellies. Women should have rounded bellies because we've got bits in there that need space for the rounded bits in. Um, so I've decided I'm not going to wear them anymore. Some of them brand new. I haven't even worn them. So I'll, I'll give them away because I've not worn them. And I'm just, if the dresses don't look good on me or the clothes, chuck them out, get a bigger size. You know, so I did make Andy laugh last year when I went, I'm a size 12, but actually I'm really a 14. <laughs> I've been a size 10 since I was 18, you know, 40 years. That's good going, isn't it? Muffin top. Anyway, so that's the realisation. Not going to do it. I'm just following in. Why? Because society says that I shouldn't have a sticky out tummy because society says that I need to suck it all in. Nah, not doing that anymore. I do know that I do need to lose a bit of weight around my belly and I do know that belly fat isn't good for us because it usually means that we've got fat around sort of our inner organs as well, which isn't good. Um, but, you know, there's also, you know, when you look at diets, um, it's very interesting to me the day a diet is your diet, that's what you eat. But these sort of fad diets and these diets that have gone on for years, I followed many of them, keto, paleo, hay diet, intermittent fasting, um, calories you know i've probably done it all apart from weight watchers and things like that because they're too specific and i don't like it but i got quite addicted to that dieting cycle of weighing my food out and i used to always leave enough calories on my macros for my white wine <laughs> makes me laugh now so i'm not going to diet i am going to eat what i want to eat my diet is going to be what my body wants because even people say well you shouldn't eat this and you shouldn't eat that because it's not got any nutritional value and it just fills you up but you know what if it's not processed if it's not refined um if it's not got sugars in and isn't really bad for me i'm just going to eat what my body wants so i've just made some organic gluten-free porridge oats which some people say you shouldn't have oats but i'm going to have them we have lots of crushed up nuts that I've just liquidised because otherwise I choke on them with some flax seeds. I haven't got pumpkin seeds and that, so I do need to get to the shop to get some of my more yummy, yummy stuff. And yeah, I'm just going to cook everything fresh. Well, I say I cook everything fresh. <laughs> I don't really cook, do I? Because last time I cooked, I, I, got, I stocked up my fridge before I went away to make some nice yummy foods like um, laffles, like all vegan stuff and um yeah i mean if i went by the diet i would just it literally eat lettuces wouldn't i but this is what happens when you buy a lettuce and then decide to go away for two weeks or so so um you know even the cabbage has gone a bit manky but i'm sure if i take some leaves off it'll be all right these this is funny arthur and i planted beetroots and we grew beetroots and arthur and jack picked them and then we realized they weren't beetroots, they look a bit like swedes or turnips. Um, and that one's going mouldy now, so that needs throwing out. So we grew stuff we're probably not even going to eat. Uh, because I can't peel these sort of things or cut them. But what I do do is I put them in my ninja. Oh, fell over, don't walk too much. So in my ninja, and I bake them. But you can put them in your oven. And I bake them till they're um, 
easy enough and cut you know, easy enough for me to cut and do stuff with so yes that's what i'm doing anyway i'm gonna stop leaning and bending down and moving around it's making me a bit dizzy and my knees and me ankles are still hurting so um yeah and i have been good i did speak to the neurological physiotherapy yesterday who rings every six months for a review and uh because of my pain in my knee and my ankle i think the ankle might have been when i fell off a chair i decided to climb on a chair a couple of months ago um to put some stuff up on my shelf and then I forgot that I was on the chair and stepped back and fell. So that might be my ankle. I don't know what I've done to my knee, but it's not it's not a neurological pain. It's not my fibromyalgia pain. So I have gone to the doctor and left a little note for them this morning to see. So I need to start looking after my health. Look after me. It's probably just too much bloody riding, to be fair. But we shall see. We shall see. Let's see what other realisations, things come today and what else develops. Probably the rain. And I've just got washing to put out. Oh, the rain always develops with me. Well, my doctor's appointment's 27th of September. It's the 19th today, but that's fine. It's not an emergency. Um, I can wait. It's not a problem. Our health service and our doctors are really, really busy. I do love my GP, that bungalow. They're really good. You do an online form and they do get back to you the same day. So I've got an appointment and that's fine. But I've just had another realisation as I've taken my washing out to the tumble dryer in my garage and I've seen my wheelchair there. Now, I haven't used my wheelchair for a couple of years now, and um, I, I've i tried to get them to come in. Sorry, not working. And I got them to try and come and pick it up from the wheelchair services, but they, they send out to the service. And because of where I live, I'm on the border. So if I live a certain place, it goes from Norwich. If I live another place, it comes to lower stuff. Another place, it's Ipswich that collects it. The last time I rang up, he was explaining all this to me. I said, I don't care. That's not my problem. Just come and pick it up. Because what I was thinking is it's sitting there. It's not being used. It could be used by somebody else. You know, I don't want to be hogging a wheelchair that I don't actually need. But I've seen it today and I've thought, you know what, Karina? It's not that you don't need it. It's just that when you did go out anywhere, you're with Andy and you're on the bike. And if you really, really needed a wheelchair, which was when we went to the um, Enigma place, can't remember, over at Milton Keynes there, Bletchley Park, he did push me around in a wheelchair, but he couldn't push me very far. So that's probably the thing is that we've not gone to places where I'd need a wheelchair because Andy, bless him, was so poorly that he couldn't push me. And I needed probably to push him at times and I couldn't do that. So it's probably not the fact that I don't need it. It's just I haven't been somewhere where I need it. So maybe I will just keep it. There's a reason they didn't come and collect it. There's a reason it's in my garage. I feel that I've tried. I've tried to return it. I even offered to get it in my car, which I don't have a car now anyway, because this was months ago, and take it to them. But they still not come back with that. So obviously everything happens for a reason. And it's because probably I need it. And it's going to give me the chance to get out and about because Jack can take me out and he can push me. That would be good. Yay. I thought could even take it away for our Christmas trip away. Um... Because there'd be lots of people to push me there if I need it because it'll be cold as well. So we're looking at doing a family Christmas trip away um, with Andy's side of the family. And not too far so I can pop back and I can spend Christmas Day with, with my family. So that's kind of the plan. And we've been looking. And I found a great place this morning I thought in South Wild. I got so excited but this is how my day started. I have got dressed. Um, but I'm not going out. I'm not doing very well this morning. I just sent you a video, but I didn't. It was a video of me putting the phone down after I finished video. <laughs> I thought I'd just explain what the deleted messages are above. I got really excited about this place in Southwold. I'm like, oh my God, for three nights, it's like £1,300. And I'm like, am I missing something? So it was like 16 people. It was like lovely. But as Emma said, entertainment side, but I just thought we're on the beach. So, um, but anyway, I was missing something. I was missing a one. It wasn't 1,300, it was 11,300. So I think I'll just stay in my pyjamas today and not go anywhere. I think it could be dangerous if I did. Oh, I've just realised I've got different clothes on. I've had to change my trousers because I was doing a bit of cleaning and put the shower all over my trousers. Just sit there and point at it. 
got my trousers. And I've tried to drink coffee and gone like up the cup. So <laughs> two changes of clothes already. Now I've sat down to watch some telly or watch Netflix. And the internet's gone again. So I've just thought, oh, let's watch normal telly. And I've looked at the buttons going, oh, I don't actually know how to watch normal telly. Don't watch it. Oh, just have to get me back. I'm having a few tears because, um, as you know, I recently went to Cop Dot Bike Show and I didn't get my photo um, there. I thought I'd have a little look online when I got back. So I did and I thought I've, I've ordered a thermal mug for myself. And I thought they had previous years there, but they didn't have 2021, which is when Andy and I went and um, we didn't get our photos. So I messaged them with my order and said, is there any chance that you still have these? And a kind guy called Stuart emailed me today I said they're not digitally online but you'd have a look through and I said that was with a Can-Am um, on my Can-Am it would be about half eight with with a Can-Am and it was a speed triple a white speed triple sent him a photos of it and within the hour he's got back to me so I think I found it but he's on a, a Triumph twin and I forgot that Andy had picked his bike up that week so it's our first outing with Cop Doc on his new bike and he's found it for me <laughs> So I've just ordered the clock to go above my kitchen door, which is really poignant actually, because the one that's there um, now is one that said, who cares, I'm retired, but the handles, the hands have actually stopped working, so I can't tell the time from it. But before that, I had a world clock, that sort of shake, and Ad used to laugh when he'd been down in Essex and he'd come back up, he could tell how bad a week I had by whether the clock was straight or whether it was at an angle, because like when I'm bad, I bump into door frames on walls and it would wobble the clock. So I've just ordered my clock with him on it, um, and I'm so happy. And... It's just so nice when people go that extra mile to do something for you. I'm crying, but I'm really, really happy, ecstatically happy. So a big shout out to Stuart. I know you're probably not watching again, but thank you. I'm at photogra photographer ahead. Amazing. Oh, you've made my day, my week, my month, my year. Thank you.